Hey guys, it's Roy from Oracle 12 and EpicDroid.com, and I am here today with the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case for the Google Pixel 9 and Google Pixel 9 Pro. The Spigen Ultra Hybrid case is a case that I am very familiar with. I've used it for many years on many different devices. However, I had never seen their new Zero One edition until the Pixel 9. It's a unique case that takes you back to the late 90s, early 2000s when those see-through electronics were super popular. I love that x-ray look of it. I've seen it done by several different skin companies. However, I've never seen it done by a case company where they actually print it on the case itself. I've been using the case now for about a week and I've been getting lots of compliments on it and I've been very impressed with the case overall. So when you get the case, you will notice the first thing that it has is it has these little plastic shields that are both on the outside as well as on the inside. That's to protect it from fingerprints and dust. Uh, I did take those off when I got the case and put it on my device just so I could use them without it. Um, I would recommend that when you put it on, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set this off to the side and then we're gonna take a microfiber cloth. We're gonna wipe this all down, make sure there's no dust anywhere here on the case and then we're gonna take some compressed air and blow it off just for good measure. So to put it on, we're gonna flip it over like this, and we're gonna take our phone, we're gonna take the power and the volume buttons, we're gonna slide those in first, pop it down around the corners, and presto, you're good to go. The Ultra Hybrid has some pretty standard features that you'll see across most cases, especially with Spigen. You have the little air pockets that are here in the corners that provide some shock absorption and some impact protection. So if those were hit on the surface or anything, or if they're dropped, it's going to help protect them from those impacts and help prevent it from receiving some damage. It also has this raised bump that goes up around the camera bump so you can protect that from impacts. Also, so you can set it down without having to worry about your screen getting scratched up. And then if you look at the front, you have the same thing here. You have that raised lip that goes all the way around the front there so that that screen is protected as well. Looking a little bit closer here, you can see that I have a tempered glass screen protector. The case does go right up to the edge of that and it fits it perfectly. There is an extra little teeny notch there. It's a little bit harder to see at this angle, but there is a notch that goes right up in there that protects that front facing audio and also makes it so that you're not gonna lose any audio quality when you're listening to music or to phone calls. Here on this side, you will see that there are cutouts for your power and your volume buttons. There's no issues using those. They're very responsive, very clicky no problems whatsoever. You'll also notice on this side that there is a cutout here at the bottom that's for a lanyard loop, so you can loop a lanyard through there, wrap it around your wrist, and you don't have to worry about dropping your phone. Now, flipping it around here to this side, you will see that there is a cutout for your microphone, your USB-C charging port, as well as for your speaker. You can use any USB-C charger with that, it's nice and large. And if you don't wanna use a USB-C charger, you are also able to use it with wireless charging. And then flipping around here up top, you do have a cutout for your noise canceling mic. Now going back over to the back here, we did mention the raised bump here that goes around the camera bump, but you will also see that there are raised feet here in each of the corners. Those do provide some little balancing as well as protection for that camera bump and just make it so your device is a little bit more secure and so that this area right here is less likely to get scratched up during daily use. And then holding it a little bit closer here, just so you guys can see some of that cool stuff. There are a couple of different things here. I am not an electrician, so I don't know what most of these things are, but you can see that there are little screw holes. You can see here the USB-C module. You can see the wire, the copper coils for your wireless charging, some kind of chip. I'm not sure what all of these things are, to be honest, uh, but it's just a kind of cool little feature there. And I super love that look and I love the feel of it. The case is primarily a TPU case, so you will get a little bit of fingerprints on here. You do see that a lot with these TPU cases that are see-through. So you can see that there are some fingerprint smudges here on the sides and across the top. But this part here is a harder polycarbonate and this pattern is printed onto the case. So you're not gonna be getting fingerprint smudges and things like that across this part. Again, I really love the look of this thing. It offers decent protection, it offers great grip, and it offers some stylish features that everyone is going to love. You can get this case for between 15 and $20 on Amazon, depending on which features and which style you go with. If you guys have any questions about the Ultra Hybrid, about the Zero One Edition, about the Pixel 9 or the Pixel 9 Pro, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below and we'll reply as soon as we're available. If you've enjoyed this video, if you want to see more like it, please remember to give us a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. And as always, just want to tell you guys thank you for watching, thank you for all your support, and you all have an awesome day.